Hello everybody, today we're going to show you how the ancient Egyptians wrote, or the scribes wrote. Today I'll be using uh, the uh, pre-drawn cartouche, uh, or shen, which is an eternity symbol, extended to cover the name of any royalty or divine uh, god. Now what they usually use, they used a certain paste here, but what I've done is used a watercolor uh, tablet, which I've inserted into a palette, which I created. Uh, usually the scribes would insert their uh, writing instruments within it, like so. And then when they begin to write or dictate information, they simply take their palette, mix a little bit with water, and the paste which they generally made or solidified or put into a, a sort of a gum, and then mix it with water to write. So today I have the cartouche that I've drawn, and at the same time I've written the name of Tutankhamun, this is his personal name. So we're going to draw it, just so you see. It won't take very long, but you understand the system. Now, generally, you're supposed to always keep dabbing per each character. So not too much of it, of course, just enough with this pen that I've drawn. It may not be perfect, but it'll give you a general idea, so. That's all right, just make it nice and wet and keep it even. The ink gets nice and thick, and that's what's important. So we drew here the very first symbol, which is a reed, and this represents the letter I. And moving over to the Senate board. The Senate board here represents the letter Min. The letter Min. Like that. So this is the board and the little pieces that go on top, the min. The next letter would be the wave or the water wave, the river wave, which of course I've tied a little too much here. All right, like that. A little more water just to keep it uh, nice and soft. like that, the water wave, and that's the letter N. So this would be Emen, the name of the god, Emen. And now we'll have the T. This is a bread loaf, and there's two of them, one here, one there. Add a little more water, and then we would have, let's add a little more here, and we would have uh, the chick, the chick represents the letter U. And here's its arm. And its feet. This is generally how the, uh, the Egyptians wrote. They would use the palette, they would can dictate and document many things, but here we're just simply doing the name of the pharaoh. And the idea is to constantly put ink, or it dries off. This is a watercolor base, so it might dry a little quicker, but I'm just showing you a general idea. I'm not using any bubble gum or anything like that of any kind of replica, but just good old fashioned watercolors. And this is now the Heka, the symbol of ruling. Usually this would be accompanied with a pharaoh. In, uh, for example, Tutankhamun had it around his uh, coffin. He had the crook, or the crook and flail of office. This means that he had that position and power. And this is the un, very, very uh, famous symbol, which means life. And this here is the plant of southern Egypt. And this is the... Shamayi, but this is different. This is not the Su symbol, because I'll show you why. It would just simply be the plant here of Upper Egypt, sorry, up in Lower Egypt, I apologize. I mean, Upper Egypt, which is the south. The Shamayi, Oop, that's a little too much. Oh, well, what are you going to do? So then we'll just remove it there, and we'll go like that, and like that. Well, we just fudged that one up, but that's okay. And then it would have its little specific dots here. It would be the end of the plant, which is the flowering. And this is the Shemai. 
And now what you have is the full name of Tutankhamun, which is read as Tut, so T-U-T, Tut, Anch, Emen. So the, because of the honorific transposition, the god is always placed first in the name, so this would be Tut, Anch, Emen, Heka Shemai, which is ruler of southern Egypt. And that is the name of the pharaoh of ancient Egypt. And this is written on papyrus and showing you how the scribes usually generally wrote. I'm just going to wipe that off here so we don't have too much access. And there you go. So you can see the scribal uh, instrument. I see it's cut right through the bottom there and then written. And that's how you would write the name. Now, sometimes the, uh, the birds are decorated. So uh, you would have simple decorations like, for example, little lines in the reed to show the actual detail of the reed. Uh, the Senate board would actually be in a construction of, let's say, um, you know, a chessboard position, something like that. Also, the chick would have some details. Uh, so maybe uh, the side of the wing, like that, giving it a little more details on its back. Uh, sometimes the, uh, the bread loaves are colored in, just to give it a little more contrast, like that. Okay, same here. So those are the type of things you may see. So there it is, uh, the name of the pharaoh. The instrument is returned back to the uh, palette. And this is the papyrus. And uh, here is the name of the, um, the pharaoh, Tutankhamun, his personal name. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tune in uh, to maybe uh, certain more other videos. I'll be working on some different projects. And... Uh, Follow me on Instagram. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Thank you.